Breaking Bridget. <sighs> the war over the unvaccinated and the rhetoric around it. It's really the war over the media credibility mm. is really how I look at this. It's actually infuriating that these institutions demand that we trust them at all anymore. There are so many institutions in CNN and the mainstream media and the establishment media, and they're demanding that everybody trust the vaccine and trust us on this. Do they not know that there's video that exists of them saying they would never trust a Trump vaccine? They would never rush something like this. They wouldn't take it. If and when the vaccine comes, and it's not likely to go through all the tests that needs to be and the trials that are needed to be done. When we finally do, God willing, get a vaccine, who's going to take the shot? Who's going to take the shot? You can be the first one to say, put me, sign me up. They now say it's okay. If Donald Trump tells us I should ta- that we should take it, I'm not taking it. There's evidence of people in mainstream media, Brian Stelter, who got called out by Michael Wolf when he was on his show this week, and it was absolutely hilarious. You know, you are why one of the reasons people can't stand the media. I'm sorry. <laughs> Brian Stelter, um, Joy Reid, all these people who are like, go get vaccinated, listen to us, go get vaccinated. They have tweets out there that say they wouldn't trust the vaccine under the Trump administration and that they shouldn't rush it out. Like, why would anyone trust you? I'm old enough to remember when racism was the real virus about a year ago after we'd been locked down for going on three months and then everybody was in the streets and we were told that was perfectly okay because it was outside and now racism is the real virus and that they were mostly peaceful protests while we were watching our cities burn. So many people's brains broke during that a year ago and so many people's brains have continued to break over all of the fucking lies, why would anyone believe you? You took a story down on the New York Post right before a, an election that was true and then said it wasn't true and it was false and then now it's all come out that it's true. Like, this shit is egregious, corrupt, insane gaslighting that's happening. People are pushing back, turning away in droves. Like all of these institutions are losing all of their viewers and they're instead of doing any self-reflection whatsoever, they'll write a whiny little piece like NPR did about Ben Shapiro saying that he has more Facebook shares than all of the basically establishment media put together. Why don't you look at yourselves and stop whining about what other people are doing? Why don't you do your jobs? Oh, you're losing people because they don't want to hear that they're fucking racist all day and that there's such a thing as a female penis? I can't believe it. Where are they all going? The majority of Americans aren't on board with this. You pandered to the small percentage of your loudest activist base lied to people, lied to their faces, got caught in it because there's this thing called the internet that you still haven't figured out exists. And now you're wondering why people are turning away from you and not listening to you and don't trust you. You shred your credibility in the Trump years. Everybody shred their credibility. This is not just a problem we have with our media, also our government institutions. Many institutions shred their credibility and the people have turned away away and you have to deal with that there's been no self-reflection and it makes me crazy the sanctimonious just talking down to that happens i got vaccinated i it was a risk that i took i know that i felt it was worth it i've put Way too many drugs in my system to start being like, oh, no, no, this is where I draw the line on substances I don't know what's in. Like, I would be like, oh, Molly, or is this ketamine? I don't know. I'll snort it and find out. I'm not going to start being, like, picky about what I put in my body now. That's a risk I take. I also understand why people would not want to take it and why they're hesitant. And I don't blame them for asking questions. Now, there's shades of this, obviously. There's 5G bats and you're going to be microchipped. And there's also, we don't know what the side effects are long term. We're a population that has traditionally been very skeptical and has every right to be. We don't really feel the need to because I had it. Like, there's many, 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 many questions that people have. And those questions should be addressed. They shouldn't be shamed for having them. They shouldn't be shamed for being skeptical of a media and a government that has consistently been lying to them. And by the way, 
Of course, people are skeptical of big pharma as well. The vaccine I got was made by a company that recently was sued billions of dollars for having asbestos in their baby powder knowingly. The other corporation that's one of the main ones got sued $2.3 billion for having false marketing and had to pay people out for lying. So these are not innocent companies either. Of course, people are skeptical. Of course, no one knows what to believe or who to believe. The way to deal with this is not to tell them all their idiots and that they should just listen to you just because and you have no high ground to stand on i'm over it yeah everyone's over it i don't understand how these people who came out and were like i wouldn't trust a trump administration vaccine don't understand that the reverse of that would be true for the people who aren't on their side by the way you spent five years telling these people that they're deplorable and that you basically want them all to die yeah. and now you're telling them to get vaccinated and you think that they're gonna listen to you like why would anybody that you've been essentially talking down to listen to what you have to say or believe you there's footage of biden and kamala talking about yeah how- undermining oh, is- yeah they undermined the vaccine when trump was gonna do it and they thought he was gonna win yeah. And spent all kinds of what, what kind of damage would that have done? I am interested to know how many people who aren't taking the vaccine now would take the vaccine if Trump was president and it had been rolled out. Right. Under That's his- what's interesting to me, because yeah. if you aren't taking a vaccine now that you would take under a Trump administration, you are full of shit. Right. And also how many people on the left would not have taken the Trump vaccine <laughs> because it came under his administration. Yeah, that's yeah. also hilarious. Yeah, I wonder how many people wouldn't have on the left. A lot of people. Yeah, I mean, really, you have to ask yourself these questions and be really honest with yourself about why you're not taking these things as well. If there's no information that will change your mind about anything, you're guilty of being captured by an ideology. But I don't, I'm don't. i not the kind of person who's going to tell somebody what they should do with their body or put mm-hmm. in it. Mm-hmm. I'm all over the place, but I am definitely tired of being gaslit by the establishment media and I'm over it. And I really just hate all of them, <laughs> like everyone. Everyone fueling the flames of the culture where I'm like, I can't get behind any of you. You're all f- crazy. Yeah. I just want to like live my life and grow garden and use some hose. <laughs> use some hose and buy guns and ammo. I love that if you say that, you're like, oh, MAGA. Like, I know plenty of libs who love their guns, by the way. I know, right? This is America. And if we have one thing we can all unite on, it's our love of guns. <laughs> <laughs> 